All right, Capricorn, here we go. This is Capricorn Soulmate Love reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of July 2021. It's a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you. But if the title brought you in here, I promise you, you're here for a reason. Bottom of my deck as I shuffle before I hit the record button to find out why am I here, what's going on with Capricorn in July, which runs right about from now, whenever now is for you. Right right now it's June 25th here for me. Right up through July, right up through the end of June, right up through July, right up through about Lion's Gate on August 8th. Okay? That puts July square in the middle of it. Now, by bottom of the deck is the Seven of Swords reversed. I got somebody realizing the error of their ways. Somebody, the energy I get off that is somebody who knows they probably did you wrong i'm seeing this a lot in july people are figuring out a lot of things we got big planets in retrograde neptune goes retrograde today uh, neptune retrograde can lift the fog neptune's about illusions and dreams and when it goes retrograde people start to see the air of their ways coupled with mercury coming out of its shadow phase pretty soon i'd say we got some epiphanies coming from some people who were like oh shit I'll tell you what, that's what we got. Let's cut the deck for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, July 2021. See where we go here. See what our, we'll give the deck a final shuffle and we'll check our overall energy, which will be the bottom card here. We'll see what this reading's about, besides the Seven of Swords reversed. Well, it's about Five of Cups, the Sad Horse. Somebody with regrets for how they treated you in the past. That jobs with the Seven of Swords reversed perfectly. And underneath that is the tower. Somebody's living in a tower right now. Everything's come crashing down either on their side or in their mind towards you. There's a lot of regret around this sad horse here, this Five of Cups. There's a lot of regret right there. And that Seven of Swords reversed in my pre-shuffle coupled with sad horse and this tower tells me somebody is exactly how I read the energy. It's exactly, I'm exactly right. Somebody's realizing that they treated you like shit and they're probably letting something go that's really good. My guess is, like everybody else here in July, they're, they're trying to swim back and catch up to you and get you back. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know where this is going. Right here, the energy around the connection. Right here's how your person feels. Right here's how they feel about you. Not what they show you, not what they tell you. This is how they feel in their soul, by the way. Right here is the hidden energies, and right here is the final outcome. I'm going to clarify everything, throw some universe cards over the top. And if I think we need to extend this one, I will. If we get ourselves a soap opera here, we're going to have to. I don't know yet. Let's see. You know if there's a link in the description, I extended it. If I didn't, it's just because we got everything we need here. Some readings are cut and dry. July's energies are very strong. Right here... Uh, the energy around your connection. Well, remember this whole reading clarifies this Five of Cups. And to, to an extent, the Tower and the Seven of Swords reversed we just talked about. Knight of Swords. This is the most common card in July to land in this position. One in 370,000 chance a card comes out in any given position. A specific card. And I've been it's been landing here for a few signs. Okay, or here in the energy of the connection. Knight of Swords. Somebody wants to come rushing in, talk to you. They have a lot of regrets for how they treated you in the past, and they're living in a tower. Plain and simple. Somebody, there's an urgency here. Somebody feels like they need to come rushing in. Any other title that I did this month that resonates with you, if this resonates with you, watch it. I don't care if you even know the sign. Watch it. Right here, because I, I know this energy. Right here is uh, how they feel in their emotions. King of Cups. Somebody who wants to give you the full cup of love, but has a little bit of trouble expressing emotions. It's probably what got them jammed up in the past, isn't it? They weren't very open with their emotions. Now there's a now or never moment here. Fight or flight. Shit or get off the pot. Right here. And they feel an urgency to come in and talk to you probably before it's too late because I'm sure a spell has passed and they're all up in a tower about it feeling a lot of regret 
How do they feel about you, really? Not what they show you, not what they tell you, because people always lie. Ask any doctor, cop, judge. People are liars. This is, this is what's real. Yeah, the fool. They want to come rushing in, talk to you. Again, all I get here is urgency. Somebody urgently wants to rush in before it's too late. That's the message from the universe. That's the energy. The cards are proving it. I read the energy first, then I throw the cards. The cards are proving it. And they didn't give you a full cup of love in the past. Now they know they need to. They, they know they need to come right. But this person has a hard time expressing emotions. They're probably pretty good about talking about money or clothes or the weather or whatever the hell they're into. But when it comes to emotions, they, they're probably somebody that needs a few drinks before they'll do that type of person. Here, they got a lot of regret for letting you go. Big urgency here. Can't emphasize it enough. This, this fool, they just want to jump in, take the leap of faith and come towards you. They're really frantic about it. Hidden energy, red with this Knight of Swords. Chariot. Look at all this frantic energy. Look at all this forward movement. Forward movement. Forward movement. Forward movement. Regret and oh shit, I didn't give them a full cup. And now I'm in a fucking tower. And that's where they are. All This tower, I'll just lay the cards right here. This tower energizes, supercharges this knight of swords, this fool, and this chariot. All they want to do is talk to you and come running forward. They want victory with you. A victory that they probably cost themselves from having in the past. Oh, I, I guarantee it. If this title brought you in here, this is for you. I'll tell you something else as well that'll help you when you're, when you're seeing readings around YouTube. There's, there's a thing in psychology. It's like, because I studied psychology. So there's a thing in psychology. It's a little test. Okay? If, if you need to ask yourself, is this for me? It, or are they, is he talking about me? Or is she talking about me? You, they probably are. The fact that you're asking the question, you know, it's just like in a relationship. If you're thinking about leaving somebody, okay, if you're thinking about leaving somebody, the fact that you're thinking about leaving somebody means that somewhere in your subconscious or in your soul, you want to. It's the God's honest truth. Any psychologist would agree with that. There's a reason for that. We don't, it's unconditional love. We don't ask ourselves tell her, should I leave this person when we love them unconditionally, when, there's, when, there's, when it's pure, when it's raw, when it's good. You know, if you have children, your children get mad, you get mad at your children all the time. You don't ever think, I'm going to get rid of this. Pack your, pack your little uh, princess bag and head on down the road there. No, because that's unconditional love. That's why. So keep that in mind. If you're asking if this is for you, it probably is. There's a lot of forward movement here. Somebody wants to come rushing in and talk to you. What's the final outcome? A lot of regret. What's the final outcome here, Red, with this King of Cups, where they know they got to give you the full cup now? Ace of Wands. See, I know what I'm talking about. I read the energy here before I pull the cards, people. All right? Come to Steve's Love Tarot, you get something a little different. I like that. I like being different. Right here, Ace of Wands. Passionate new beginning in the final outcome. They know they need to come with the full cup this time and they know they're going to need to open up. They're well aware of it. They're, they regret that they didn't big time. This here is big time upright. Knight of Swords. Why is it here? Why is that Knight of Swords here? Talk to me. Why is that Knight of Swords here? Let's clarify. Ten of Pentacles. They see the long term with you. This is something they didn't see in the beginning. This is something they didn't see in the beginning. They're rushing in to get their long term, happy home, happy family, white picket fence, whatever you want to phrase it as. This is long term. They see the practical side and the love side with you. I got the love with the King of Cups and I got the practical with the Ten of Pentacles. You're the full package. Why is that Ten of Pentacles here? Because you make them happy, the sun. That's why they want to come rushing in. And this isn't something they've, they've it, it took them a spell to figure this out. 
I saw the Knight of Pentacles go by in the shuffle. The Knight of Pentacles is slow moving energy. It took them a spell to figure this out. It did. You make them very happy. And this is Chatty Cathy. The, the, the moon, its opposite card, is Silent Bob. Silent Bob wants to talk now about long term. And they're, they're frantic to come in. There's some sort of rush on this. They're, they're very, very antsy about it. I suspect they're nervous about it. I would be. We might see that around this King of Cups. I don't know. But I feel some nervous energy. I feel a lot of regret. Why is this uh, King of Cups here? You make this person very happy. You probably changed their life on some level. Or at least the way they see it. Gave them some perspective. All right. King of Cups. Why is it here? Four of Wands. Coming to get there. Again, this person... Uh, I, Jesus Christ. Uh, you know... They, they want to come rushing in because they see you as long term. You make them happy and they got a lot of passion for you. They want a happy new beginning. They, they see the marriage, the whole deal. Four of Wands with the Ten of Pentacles here like that. That's, somewhat, that's, that's, that's marriage material right there. It is. A lot of this is hidden energy though. Uh, I suspect a lot of you don't know this. Hidden energy. Deep, deep, deep down. Not surface energy. Why is the Four of Wands here? Yeah, Passion. King of Wands. A couple of things on this card. Normally it's my Spank Bank Upright card. A lot of passion. Somebody taking your picture into the bathroom with them. Kind of a thing. Uh, but the King of Wands here, in this case, uh, with the King of Cups below it. Remember, the King of Cups, they know they need to bring you the full cup now. Okay, before they were, this person's very difficult for this person to talk about emotions. They didn't give you the full cup of love, yet they have a full cup of love for you. This knight of, this King of Wands right here, the King of Wands can be very selfish. This, this is probably a very self, or was, maybe they've changed. I don't see it yet, but maybe they have. I suspect it's in the regret, and that's part of what the tower is. Uh, this, this can be a very selfish person. The King of Wands is selfish. The King of Wands is self-focused, self-centered, borderline narcissist. Now, I'm not calling your person a narcissist, but they are a little bit on the selfish side. They were very self-focused when they got cast you off before. I suspect they've worked on this because of where this card has fallen. I suspect they've realized, with that Seven of Swords reversed I had in my pre-shuffle, that tells me that they've realized where they went wrong here. And now they regret it. And now they're just fighting their way back. And there's a frantic energy to come in and talk to you before it's too late is the message I get. Whatever that means to you. Perhaps you've pulled your energy away. Perhaps you're not giving them attention anymore. Uh, that would certainly cause this. That's how soulmate connections work. Push, pull. Runner, chaser. Fool. Why is the fool here? Again, same message as the Knight of Swords. It's an impulsive action. They want to come, just take a leap of faith and come towards you. All, they've, all this person, all this reading is saying is this person wants to talk to you. Now, it's a very common theme for July. 11 out of 12 signs. It's a very common theme. Fool, why is it here? King of Pentacles, because you're long term. You're the, you're the catch. You're the one. You're the only one they want. Maybe they've been doing some dating. I don't know. Maybe they're with someone else. I don't know. Well, what it, whatever it is, nothing compares to you. And, they're, and they want to come get it before they lose it. Why is the King of Pentacles here? The lovers. Look at this freaking reading, all right? If you don't believe in tarot, first of all, why are you watching a tarot reading? But second of all, this is why I love tarot. This is why it's kind of cool to come here. Steve's love tarot because I read energy first and then I throw the cards. I told you what this was about with my pre-card. I, I everything I described is coming true right here. And I'm not playing, I'm not pen and teller. I'm not playing any card tricks. These are the cards that are coming out. Lovers. They feel this connection very strong, but I feel like they felt it after the fact. I feel like they denied it in the beginning. And that's where the, the, all this regret lies because this regret energy is like screaming tied to this lover's energy. And that tells me that. Nothing compares to you. They know that they screwed up. They did. The chariot universe wants you to know that they're 
pulling it together and coming charging towards you. Well, let's see. Why is the chariot here? What else the universe want Capricorn to know? Three of Pentacles. Yeah. The universe wants you to know they want to build on things. Look, this is red with the Ten of Pentacles. They want to build a foundation to get to the Ten of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles is where you start. It's where you begin. The Two of Pentacles is wishy-washy trying to make a decision. The Three of Pentacles, they've decided. They've taken control. The Emperor drives the chariot. He takes control of them horses. He, they've taken control. And they want to build a foundation with you to get to that Ten of Pentacles up there. Now, this next card is read off of this happiness, off of this sun. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Victory. Look at this. Look, I can't, you can't make this shit up, people. This ain't no three-card Monty. These cards are coming out because this is the energy. It's that simple. That's why tarot blows astrology out of the damn water. Forget your horoscope. This is what you're getting. This is what's in the energy right now. They, you make them very happy. They want victory with you. They want to see some transformation here. This butterfly is about transformation. Tell you. Tell you what right now. Ace of Wands. Final outcome, passion, and new beginning. That tells me, red with this King of Cups that's under here, that they are going to bring you the full cup of love. That, or that's what they want to do. And we're going to clear that up in a second. We're going to clarify. These, these two cards that come out on this Ace of Wands are the final final of what's, going, of what's, what's in the energy to happen here. Okay? Why is this Ace of Wands here? Three of Swords. Four of Wands read with the Three of Swords tells me that this person had something on their side that ended. Okay, something that they thought was four of wands long term, holding hands in the park till you're 80 kind of shit that came to an end. Okay, that wasn't what they thought it was, which is why you're the catch. Now, it could be career, could be something. Something on their side ended that's part of what that tower was about that was underneath this regret. Most of this regret is about you, but of course they regret you. Let's just say hypothetically. And, and it may be a career, it may be a dog who bites them, and they may be married, I don't know, whatever. Okay? Let's just say hypothetically. You blew off something great to try and make it work with something that turned out not to be great. Think about the regret you'd have. You'd have double regret. You'd regret making it work with something that wasn't great, and you'd regret the fact that you cast away the King of Pentacles. Oh, shit. <laughs> right? This whole reading is the oh shit upright card. I mean, it's, it really is. Why is the three of swords here? What's our final final here? Ace of pentacles. It's been a long time coming. Took them a long time to figure it out, but they're coming with an offer. The energy is ripe for it. Now, I'm going to emphasize the energy is ripe for it. All right? I want anybody thinking Steve's love tarot gives false hope to anyone. The energy is right for you. Your person can still use their questionable free will against all this and not come in. In the energy, the universe itself is saying the door is open. Wide open. The, the, the energy is flowing between the two of you. It's about time. This, this Ace of Pentacles, after going 15 miles an hour on the freeway, holding up traffic for six miles, has finally arrived at its destination. Here in the final, final outcome of this reading. Your person can still, I want to be clear, use their questionable free will, the same free will that caused them to, to not take you in the first place, to reject the King of Pentacles in the first place, against themselves. I don't think they will. I don't think they will. But for some of you, they will. Well, there's too many people watching these videos now to get it, you know, to say, yes, absolutely, I guarantee. You know, I can guarantee shit. My job is to read the energy and to translate it into cards. And I've done that very well here in this reading. I called this whole reading on one card in my pre-shuffle. And the cards came out to back me up. To back up. The cards build the story. They back me up. And if I get egg in my face, if I'm wrong, and a card comes out that contradicts me, I admit it right on video. I don't edit. No editing. Tell you what, this is a solid reading. This person regrets. 
casting you off in the past, has a lot of pain and regret about that, has a lot of disappointment in themselves about that. They also have a lot of disappointment in something on their side that they thought was better than you. Whatever it is, I don't know. It's going to vary. They blew off the King of Pentacles. That's you. And they're, they're, they're fighting. They're frantic. Knight of Swords. Fool. Chariot. To come get it. And these cards all back that up. They are, or were, hard to say, how much work they've done on themselves. They are, or were, a very selfish, self-focused person. And that's part of the reason they blew you off. That's the reason we all shoot ourselves in the foot. Selfishness. A lot of selfishness and self-focus in the world right now. We even have a whole generation called the selfie generation. People got to take pictures of themselves doing every goddamn thing. Look at me. I'm on the toilet. Woohoo! Smiling, too, while they're doing it. Nobody's sitting on the toilet smiling. Nobody does that. Get your, get your head out of your ass. Get your ass out of the toilet. Go outside and do something. Stop taking pictures of yourself while you're doing it. That's the, that's the king of wands energy. It's that kind of bullshit. You know, I swear to God. Archaeologists are going to find this generation one day, and they're going to go, my God, they, they were... Like they were more narcissistic than the damn Romans were at the end of their empire. You know? <laughs> it's crazy. You don't need to take a picture of yourself doing everything. Right here, King of Wands, I think they made some improvements based on the cards around it. But, but, but be warned, this person does have a streak of selfishness in them. Self-centered. Self-focus. What's the universe, what else the universe got for Capricorn? What else? Well, the universe says they're going to communicate. Page of Pentacles, you, you make them happy. We got the rainbow right there. The universe says they're going to communicate again. <laughs> Five, nine, page of Wands, okay? Uh, page, of wa page of Pentacles, Page of Wands. Uh, they're gonna, it's going to be a confusing conversation because I got the Five of Wands. And these two cards, I chuckled because it is confusing. This is passionate communication, somebody who's curious about you. And this is cautious communication, someone who's careful of every word they say, and they're asking very matter-of-fact questions. You're probably going to be a little confused by it. It might even piss you off and cause you to go, what? Steve said they were a little self-focused. Just remember Steve said that. Remember I said that. In fact, you'll probably say to yourself while you're talking to them, if your person comes in, you'll say, yeah, I remember Steve said they were self-focused, taking pictures on the toilet and shit, yeah. You know, that kind of thing. You know, this is right here. It's everything I just said. Usually when I talk, the cards back me up or put egg in my face. This is backing me up. Yeah, it's like, what the hell? You know, give me the whole cup of love or not. You know, because they love you. Because they do. Because the next card out is the Empress. Okay? And the next card out energetically ties to this five of cups okay and when i say energetically i mean i'm reading the energy but you can see the energy you'll be able to see it that this person sees long-term abundance with you after the fact it took them a while to figure it out but they figured it out this person really loves you i'm going to tell you that now look at the colors on this card this is our overall energy and the last card out i'm gonna put it right here okay and the last card out is the four cups just before it same energy, same look, same feel, same vibe. What these two cards together are saying, okay, because they're tied together here, is they rejected you in the past and they regret the shit out of it. The shit. Because I got one more card that crosses these that ties with this energy. And it's the Nine of Swords over the top. They're thinking about it like crazy. It's keeping them up at night. It's hidden energy. They're keeping it hidden. The King of Wands has some pretense to them. You know, smiling at your neighbor in the grocery store, telling them you had a, you're having a great day when you were just crying in the car 10 minutes before you went in, cleaned yourself up to go in. That kind of shit. Keeping them up at night. Pacing the kitchen with a bottle of whiskey at 2 o'clock in the morning. That's what the universe wants you to know, everything I just pulled on top there. That's your reading for July. I'm not going to extend this. I think this person's going to... This is pretty cut and dry. I think this person's coming in for most of you. But keep in mind, and I'm going to, I'm going to say it again. 
I'm not one of those readers who's going to lean over to you and go, they're definitely coming. Oh my God, you're definitely going to hear from them. I would sit by your phone. I wouldn't sit by the phone for this damn person if, they were, if, if, if I was going to get a million dollars if they called. Okay, this King of Wands worries me a little bit. I know those people. All right? But I would say a 90% chance that this is finally going to happen with this Ace of Pentacles as the final final here. All right? This person feels a lot of regret. They're worried about talking to you, and they probably should be because it's been a spell. And they blew you off in the past. And they have a lot of regret for that. And they got a lot of splaining to do, don't they? Uh-huh. Yeah, they do. But they do want to build with you. And all every fiber of their being is telling them to charge in and do it right now. I think they're just holding back out of some fear. Okay, But it's fear that we create. The Nine of Swords is all made up stories in our head and shit. It's a very devil energy. It's a very negative energy. It's not worth it. It's nothing. It's fluff. It's not enough to stop them, I don't believe, for at least 90% of you. For the other 10% of you, keep in mind, as with my reading or anyone's reading, if somebody's out there giving false hope to people, all right, we're always bound by other people's questionable free will. Okay? Other people's free will. People make bad decisions all the time. They made a bad decision in the past with this Four of Cups to blow you off. You're the damn King of Pentacles. That's a big middle finger from me for you to them, <laughs> you know, honestly. Because the universe is telling me, I don't know you, but the universe is telling me you're the king of pentacles. And for me, it knows how I pull cards. That's the best card to be seen as, male or female. That's the best card to be seen as in the whole damn deck, as far as person cards go. So... It is what it is. There you go. That's what we got. Questionable free will. That's why if you ever start a business or something, as few people as you can get involved as partners with you, the better. You can start a business yourself, and it's all you making the decisions. You're much better off than with a whole bunch of other people because other, the more people we surround ourselves with, the more we're subject to their questionable free will and choices. So... Again, I want to reiterate, your person didn't make good decisions in the past. I'm hoping they worked on this King of Wands energy and they'll make a good decision in the future for you. But this looks like a damn fine July 2021 reading to me for you, Capricorn. And I might label it as such. All right, there you go. I hope this reading was helpful to you. Uh, if you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate all the subscribers, people who share, all that. appreciate every one of you. I do, what, e even if you just watch. Good luck to you. Just pay attention up for any energy updates. As always, I'm your energy weatherman keeping an eye on this stuff for you. Good luck, Capricorn.